All right. So this morning, um, our focus will be on compassion, karuna, and love, prema. Um, today also, astrologically, the huge shift. So I'm not sure if you felt it in these past few days. Now, for some, it's more positive. For some, it's a little bit more challenging. But the nodes of the moon, which are known in Vedic astrology as Rahu and Ketu, um, and these nodes, these nodes of the moon also depict the kundalini energy within your body, Rahu being the head of the snake and Ketu the tail. Um, so Rahu, the north node of the moon, the head of the snake, went today into, an ex into its exalted position in Taurus, the sign Taurus. And Taurus is ruled by the planet Venus. Venus, the higher energy of Venus, is love, unconditional love. It's compassion. It's empathy. It's selfless surface. It's helping others. Um, it is accessing greater love, not just the love that might have conditions to it, but really tapping into the unconditional love. Um, K2, the south node of the moon, goes into Scorpio. Scorpio is a very deep sign. K2 is the more mystical aspect of the north of the node of the moon. And so it's asking us to go deeper and to be more in touch with our feelings. Where do our feelings and emotions reside? When you hear bad news, you put your hands on your chest. You don't put your hands on your heart, on your head. So we're really asking here to work with love on both ends of the spectrum in a mystical way, spiritual way, as well in how we function in our everyday life, which is Rahu, when we show up for, for society and for ourselves and for our family. So today, really like to invoke compassion and, and love and to have the courage to go deep into your emotions and deep into your feelings and to know that whatever arises is okay and to not to label it or to shame it or to think that you don't have your stuff together. Um, being in touch with your feelings is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself um, because it allows for evolution. It allows for you to change your thoughts and how you operate and function. And also to realize that when you come in touch with your heart, it's that voice that is not actually your thoughts. The voice of the heart is always kind of that witness state that is always backing up behind the thoughts. And so it's sometimes that little voice that says, oh, come on, that's not true what you're thinking or what's running through your mind. So that is what we're really trying to access today in this meditation is to go beyond our thoughts and to really go into that state of self that is always witnessing yourself in deep love and reverence. So let's come into a seated position. Make sure you're comfortable, that there is no discomfort whatsoever. If sitting on the floor today is not feeling okay, you can always sit on a chair, but make sure that you're not leaning against the back end of the chair and that your feet can be firmly planted on the ground. So let's begin our practice. Let's roll the shoulders up to the ears as we inhale. And as we exhale, let the shoulders roll down and back. And just let your elbows relax to the sides of your body. Let your hands just relax in your lap or on your thighs. And I invite you now to close your eyes, bringing our attention, our concentration in. At times, this can feel very overwhelming to bring our awareness inward. It feels as if our mind is going fast and many thoughts are popping in and out of our awareness. Maybe you see things in pictures and just know that having all these thoughts and all these pictures is completely normal but we don't want to entertain them. So we'll let's trick the mind now by focusing on the movement of your breath. So guide your awareness to the flow of your in-breath and out-breath. 
And see if you can come into a witness state as you observe your own breathing here. Don't critique it, don't change it, just observe for a moment. And as you observe your breath, what feelings or emotions arise? And know that they're all okay. Remember when we come into our true self and our true nature, we don't label things good or bad, they just is. So just allow yourself to arrive into the is of isness without labeling it right or wrong, joyful or sad. See if you can really become neutral about any emotion that arises. And to understand that the emotions or feelings that arise are like ocean waves. They're just fluctuations. They come and they go. They don't stay or remain. So when you move more into the true self, you arrive into the epicenter of the storm. The storm around you can be your mind, your thoughts. But when you know to withdraw to your true nature, you can stay anchored. And you realize that eventually the storm dies down. Now begin to lengthen each breath in and each breath out. If you feel that there's a lot of tension stuck in the body, please sigh out through your mouth and just let any tension dissipate. Every time a thought arises, redirect your awareness to the movement of your breath. Now gently begin to breathe in three parts as we inhale. Breathe into the low belly, fill yourself to the navel. Then breathe in again, let yourself fill to your heart. Third breath in through the nose, fill yourself all the way to the crown of your head. And then gently breathing out through your nose in one go. And just feel this grounding movement of the exhalation. And again, sipping in the breath to the navel, sip in again to the heart, sip in again, expand to the crown. And then gently exhale through your nose. Now we'll add the mantra, aham prema, aham ananda, aham karuna. So as you inhale the first sip, aham prema, which means I am love. Sip in the breath again. Aham ananda, I am bliss. Breathe in again. Aham karuna, I am compassion. And then gently breathe out through your nose. So you can chant these internally. I'll continue to chant them out loud so that you can follow. Aham Prema, Aham Ananda, Aham Karuna, Aham Prema, Aham Ananda, Aham Karuna.
Aham Prema, I am love. Aham Ananda, I am pure bliss. Aham Karuna, I blossom into compassion. Aham Prema. Aham Ananda. Aham Karuna. Aham Prema. Aham Ananda. Aham Karuna. Aham Prema. Aham Ananda. Aham Karuna. I am love. I am pure joy. I am compassion. Aham Prema. Aham Ananda. Aham Karuna. Aham Prema. Aham Ananda. Aham Karuna. Aham Prema. Aham Ananda. Aham Karuna. One more time. Aham Prema. Aham Ananda. Aham Karuna. Now breathing in through both nostrils. Back out through both nostrils. And just feel these energies of love for self. Feel the energies of great joy, permeated bliss. And notice how that gives birth and gives rise to greater compassion. The greater your compassion, the greater the self-love. Continue with deep breaths in and out, breathing in love, breathing out compassion. And see if you can really feel it on the level of the body. Start to feel this love entering your being. And as you exhale, feel that compassion showering over you. Each time you breathe in, allow your heart to expand even more.
few more rounds of this deep breaths in and out. Now we'll gently come into Ketchari Mudra. Ketchari Mudra is where your tongue, and this at, at first, if you've never done this before, feels very strange. But the idea is to curl your tongue up and let the tip of your tongue press into the top of your palate, palate to the roof of your mouth. The idea is actually to pull the tongue as far back and the idea is that it's trying to pierce up towards the pineal gland and the pituitary gland. And the pineal gland is known to be the all-seeing eye that recesses back into the pineal gland, the seat of your intuition. And so curl the tongue up and press it to the roof of your mouth and just allow your lips to open slightly. And I'd like you to take a deep breath in through the open mouth, just very softly sipping in that in breath. And you get to the top of the in breath, strong focus at the inner eye, and the space between the eyebrows. Maintaining Ketri Mudra, gently breathe out through your nose, feel the downward movement of the breath. If you ever need to let the tongue kind of relax and then just pick up again. So curling the tongue back, breathing in through the open mouth, sipping in the inhale. Hold for as long as you can and then gently breathe out through your nose, maintaining the tongue to the roof of the mouth. And continue at your own pace here. Relax the tongue at any time in between. And then pick it up again and just imagine that the in-breath is flowing into your mouth like a gentle stream of water, filling your body from the bottom to the top. At the end of the in-breath, strong focus to that center point between the eyebrows, the all-seeing eye, and then slowly breathe out through your nose. We'll do a few more rounds. Gently release the mudra, the Ketri mudra. Breathing in normally through your nose. And out through your nose. Now really concentrate with your mind's eye to that center point of the forehead. And now turn your inner eye gaze to the right, looking towards your right ear. 
And then gently turn your eye gaze over to the left ear. And then turn your eye gaze back to the front, the center point of the eyebrows. So it's like a drawing a triangle. And again, turn your gaze to the right. As if you're looking to your right cheekbone. And then turn the eyes to the left cheekbone. And then let the gaze come back to the center. And we'll add a bija sound every time we gaze to the front, the center of the forehead. We'll chant I'm. When we look towards the right, we'll chant Shreem for Lakshmi, Shreem. When we gaze to the left, we'll chant Klim or Clean for Kali. She's the goddess of destroying anything that isn't of the highest love and light. I'm is the Bicha sound for Saraswati, the goddess energy, and then her embodiment of Lakshmi and Kali, governing the solar and lunar energies. So we'll begin gazing to the front. I'm gazing to the right. Shreem, gazing to the left, clean center. I'm right, shreem, left, clean, we'll continue. I'm shreem, clean, I'm shreem, clean. I'm shrink clean. I'm shrink clean. I'm shrink clean. I'm Shreem, 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 clean, softer. I'm Shreem, clean. I'm Shreem, clean. I'm Shreem, clean. I'm Shreem, clean. I'm Shreem clean whisper. I Shreem clean. I Shreem clean. I Shreem clean. I Shreem clean. I Shreem. Now just continue internally chanting, returning the eyes. I am to the front, shrink to the right, clean to the left. Balancing the right and the left brain hemisphere. So we can arrive into states of equanimity, arriving in the eye of the storm. Where we're not affected by the highs and the lows of life. We can stay anchored in self, 
and realizing that all these fluctuations of highs and lows are just temporary movements in life. They don't define us. I'm Shereen Green. Now gently drop your mantra by keep turning your eyes from center right to left, drawing the triangle, the tripod. The strongest alignment is the triangle. It supports the I am principle at the center of the forehead. When the right and the left energies of the brain and our bodies are balanced, We build a stronger foundation for the I am. Now gently drop the mantra, just keep turning the eye. Next time the eye gaze comes forward to the center of the forehead, stay here, breathing in normally, just notice and observe. Now gently bring your awareness and your attention to the center of your chest. Where not only your physical heart resides, but also the spiritual heart depicted as the lotus flower. And they call it the jewel in the lotus. the jewel being your awareness, your consciousness. Through these practices, we refine our consciousness. And we refine our intellect, which is a reflection of our consciousness. So really bringing awareness to your heart and seeing it as the lotus flower. Visualize the heart as an open lotus. You can give it any color, gold, silver, turquoise, pink, red, purple, whatever color rises in your inner awareness. And today's mantra japa meditation is the mantra of Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin is the goddess of mercy, compassion. She's the goddess of compassion. It is said that she has vowed to remain in those levels of vibration where people have turned away from the light and from the love because of not knowing, because they acted out of ignorance. 
And so she's vowed to remain there out of compassion for these beings, to show them back to light and love. And her beautiful mantra is Om Mani Padme Hum. May we be seated in the jewel of the lotus. May our heart open like the lotus flower. Just like the seed has the potential of the lotus flower, there is a seed inside your heart which has encoded in it your full potential, your gifts, your strengths. And when we get out of our own way and we get out of our head and we move more into the direction of the heart and we start to follow the nudges of the heart, the whispers, and then the whispers become greater, more heard. Eventually those whispers become louder than the voices of the mind. And then we start to gain greater values in our life of love and compassion, abundance. So we'll recite together Om Mani Padme Hum. And allow yourself to be courageous like the lotus flower, that seed that pushed its way up the dense dark mud, never doubting its inner intelligence, never doubting that inner voice of saying, just keep going upward, just keep going upward. No matter what other people were saying or judging you, you just keep following that inner nudge to go up and up and up and to push through, even if it's challenging, even if you're feeling afraid, you keep following the heart because the heart knows the truth. Eventually when it rises above the dense dark mud, it meets the brilliancy of the sun and it can blossom into greatness. And it's the same with yourself. So feel free to grab your mala And we'll begin to recite Omani Padme Hum together out loud first, and then we'll move in to silently repeating the mantra. Keep visualizing your heart as a beautiful lotus flower while we chant. Omani Padme Hum. Omani Padme Hum. Omani Padme Hum. O Mani 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 Padme Hum. O 
Omani Padme Hum. Omani Padme Hum. Omani Padme Hum. Softer. Omani Padme Hum. 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 Whisper. I begin to chant it internally.
Now gently drop the mantra. Keep your internal gaze to the heart. Visualizing the heart as a thousand petal lotus. See the brilliancies of the color. We'll gently bring our palms together at the heart. And I'd like you to release your middle finger, index fingers, and ring fingers away as we make our hands into Padma Mudra, Lotus Mudra at the heart. Signifying the heart open like the lotus flower. Give yourself permission to receive unconditional love. Give yourself permission to experience divine love. This divine love is what keeps all the atoms together. The signs now know that everything is 0.0000000000001% space. What is keeping all that space together and creating density and form, that fabric is divine love. So that nothing really exists in this world without the presence of that divine love. And then you're experiencing divine love in the birds, the flowers, the ocean waves. And the fabric of your clothes is all imbued with the presence of this divine love. The fact that we think we're separate from it is what creates suffering. It's what creates the lower desires in human beings. Now gently bring the fingertips together as if it's a tight bud, allowing for some space between your palms and your fingers and allow your head to bow in. And this is a symbolic gesture that your prefrontal cortex, this is our thinking mind where we do all our reasoning, that it's bowing in reverence to the supreme intelligence of your heart. Your heart is the very first thing that grew from the clump of cells. It is the heart's intelligence that directed every other cell in the body, what it will be. From the heart came the brain, from the heart came the arms and the legs. And take a moment for gratitude. Gratitude for this high knowledge to flow freely into our awareness so that we can raise our vibration, our consciousness, so that we don't have to live in fear, doubt, confusion but rather in the values of great love, compassion, forgiveness. We'll take a deep breath into the heart. Let out a big sigh. And let's inhale to chant Om. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. 
the light in me bows and honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me.